So two angle facts for parallel parallelograms. First one is that opposite angles are equal. Those two will be the same and these two will be the same. We're not interested in that second one, but this is going to be useful. Um, it's a fact to know. If you want to know why it works, then it's actually you can if we just focus on this one and this one, we can draw a line going down the parallelogram. And in fact, that, that gives congruent triangles because these sides are the same and these sides are the same. And then um, and this is a shared side, so it's obviously the same for both. And triangles with the same sides will have the same angles. And if you, you know, if you kind of figure it out, it must be that these two are the same. You can you can make arguments actually using parallel lines that yeah, that one there is going to be the same as that. In any case, that's a fact to know. Second fact is then that actually these two add up to 180. So I can write down that 3x minus 40 plus 2x minus 30 is equal to 180. Okay, I'll tell you about that one as well. So I've got my parallel lines here. I've got my angle x and my angle y. Now if I extend it like this, then actually these two are called corresponding angles. They're equal to one another. I'm not going to prove that here, but you can imagine it's, it's almost like you're, you know, you're shifting something up here. It looks exactly the same. And then once you've got that as x, you can see that because this is on a straight line, it must be that x plus y is 180. So that is a proof of those two adding to 180. They're called co-interior angles, sometimes supplementary, other names like that. But at the moment, as I write this on the on um, on the syllabus, as it's co-interior. Right, so now we can work out x because I can add these together. 5x minus 70 is equal to 180. And I've got an equation to solve. Now, I, I do it using the balancing method. I say we're going to add 70 to both sides. So that means when I add 70 to the left-hand side, it disappears from here, and it's going to be over here. You might be you know, more likely to solve it by saying, right, I'm going to add 70 onto the other side, or I'm going to do the inverse operation, whatever. But in any case, we get 5x is equal to 250. That means x is equal to 50. Okay, um, so I'm just going to draw a little sketch, actually, of where I am up to. I've got this is 70 and then this is going to be 110. And then I've got 4y minus 50. Now actually y is what I want to find. But now I can use this first angle fact that I was talking about. I can set these equal to one another. 4y minus 50 must equal 70. That's going to give me 4y is 120. And therefore, y is 30. So quite a lot of work to be done using angle facts. Yeah, feels quite good at the end. y is equal to 30.